happy Wind Down Wednesday. Happy Wind Down Wednesday. And happy birthday to you, Janet. Thank you. It's Janet's birthday today. Yay. Thanks it's for joining us. Yep. And it's my platinum birthday. So for those of you that don't know what that means, it means that you've attained the age of the same year that you were born. <laughs> well, glad yeah. I get to celebrate mine today and I get to celebrate it with you guys. Well, you look fabulous and thank happy you. birthday to you. And thanks to you. Oh, well. <laughs> for helping go, keeping me look oh, fabulous. Oh, go on. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We are pre-recording today, so by the time you see this, Janet's birthday will have come and gone, mm -hmm. but um, appreciate you all, and we're going to be talking about some fun stuff today. Yeah, definitely. We always have something new in yes, Paradise. Yes, we things, sure do. Right? Yeah, I'm really excited about this product, so... Um, so before we dive into that, tell us what we're drinking, Janet. Yeah, let's talk about this beautiful bottle of wine here. Um, this is a 2021 Jada Voignier. We're, we're really liking this wine. And of course, guess where it's from? Our favorite place, Paso Robles, <laughs> California. It's from Jada Vineyards um, and Winery. The winery looks gorgeous. You've it, been there. It is gorgeous. We we went when we were wine tasting in Paso this last time with some friends, and it was fabulous. So the, the grounds are gorgeous. The wine is delicious. And I don't always buy whites because, you know, I'm a red gal. Yeah. But this yeah. one really, um, I don't know, struck me as yeah. extra delicious. A Voignier, for those of you who haven't tried one before, is a dry white wine. It has apricot notes. It has like a little bit of honey on the nose and then also some floral notes too. And I mm -hmm. kind of taste that yeah, in here. I do too. But the other cool thing about this vineyard, there's actually two things. It's a certified organic estate vineyard. They produce wine in small batches. Um, and for people who join their wine club, family that owns this vineyard donates a tree for every person that joins the wine club. And that's to help rebuild kind of the forest from all the forest fires in Northern California. So I think that's really cool. So better tag them. Okay. Yeah. We're still waiting okay. for one of these, you know, wineries to, to reach us. out and sponsor <laughs> <Please>. us. <laughs> Can I tell you guys about the monthly special? Please. May, we've got a lot of great specials. Um, we're going to be talking about this later, but don't sweat it. It's that time of year. I know everybody's kind of worried about wearing uh, sleeveless clothing, maybe things that are tight, light colored. Um, we have the new Brella patch, which is for reducing sweat in the underarm area. We've got $50 off one treatment. Um, but you're going to need to do this about every three to four months. So you can save $150 off two treatments by buying those together. So that's pretty exciting. We'll be talking more about that in just a little bit. Um, also, we have the BioComplete Serum. You can get a free travel size BioComplete Serum, which is a light whisper of a retinol. Um, perfect for anyone who's been afraid to use retinols or hasn't done well with them in the past. You get one of these free when you buy a dermal repair cream or a dermal repair ultra nourish cream and that's why supplies last so your next special is save a hundred dollars when you book a uh, book a neo skin treatment or a neo clear treatment and those treatments are great for summer because there's no downtime you come in you get your laser treatment you move on with your life and they're safe on all skin types so if you do come in with a little bit of sun exposure recently that's okay um, great for acne, great for anti-aging, um, just a really easy, relatively painless um, procedure. And um, I don't know, I love it. I feel like yeah. it gives you a glow. Yeah, and it also, it also helps, I know, um, my rosacea, yeah. it helps bring my redness down. Yep, calms inflammation. Um, yeah, it has a lot, of, a lot of really interesting uses. Yeah, a lot of our anti-ager patients like to use it too mm -hmm. for just overall rejuvenation you know fine lines wrinkles you know but it's something that you can come in and do quick and easy um you would do you know a series of treatments but it's quick and easy you're in and out within yep. the hour so really nice laser facial treat yourself yep and then um our last is get bikini ready we've got the 28 day hcg program for only 300 dollars uh, that's a $200 savings. And then also we have 20% off the fast mimicking diet. We have the uh, Prolon kits. Mm -hmm. So shall we dive into the sweat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is sweaty business. It's sweaty business. Mm -hmm. It is. So we are going into the summer, and we thought this would be a really great topic, and we just happened to have um, introduced Brella to the practice. So let's start off with what what is hyperhidrosis, right? Yeah. So hyperhidrosis is excessive sweating. It's the medical term. It's a diagnosis. Um, you could have axillary hyperhidrosis under the arms, but you could also have full body hyperhidrosis. Sure. Um, and as you have learned, because Janet's mm -hmm. been studying up on hyperhidrosis, that there are lots of um, things that can actually cause excessive sweating, um, even if you wouldn't naturally have it, like medications, certain mm -hmm. medications. Um, stress, anxiety, yeah. things like that. Um, menopause. Menopause, <laughs> yeah, night sweats are horrible. Um, so there are definitely a lot of things in life that can bring on excessive sweating. Um, I also mentioned um, to Maddie earlier about just presentations, like when you have to give a presentation, um, and that goes back to the anxiety thing, but I don't know, before I, we did this regularly, mm -hmm. I was one of those people that never liked to talk in public. I'm getting used to it, but but you do, you start sweating it when you're nervous and things like that. But yeah, under the arms, I think, especially if you have to get dressed nicely for work mm -hmm. and and you can't wear sleeveless. Right. So if you have a sleeve and then you, you see the sweat happening, um, but a lot of men have that problem, especially I think because they wear longer sleeves and then they have to wear suits and all of that. But some of them just naturally sweat more. And I think younger people tend to sweat more too. I think yeah. it can be very hormonal. Um, it's funny the two youngest people in the office are the two like that are chomping at the bit to get the the brella patch. Yeah. So um, so that's something to think about too. But I have some some fairly young patients, so so eighteen to twenty five year old patients that are really looking forward to having this as a treatment option. Yeah. So let's talk that's about exciting. it. Let's talks about it because <laughs> um, tox is one of the options. But let's first talk about Brella. Brella is a three minute sweat control patch. So this is something that you can just apply. I don't want to open them because then they go bad. But um, this is a sodium patch that's applied under each armpit uh, for three minutes on each side and it creates this thermal reaction. When you start to sweat, the water from your sweat combines with the sodium from the patch and creates this thermal reaction that downregulates the sweat production. Yeah. Um, so that treatment is, is obviously easy to do, uh, doesn't require any injections. Um, we do want people to shave a couple days before the treatment so that that cuts down on some of the potential for irritation. Um, and to not use antiperspirants right. for a couple days before because the aluminum in the antiperspirant, um, we want you to sweat during this treatment because that's what creates the thermal reaction. So we want you off of your antiperspirants, but you can use deodorants um, in those two days leading up to the treatment. So that's what the treatment, that's what how the treatment is performed and it's something that you can easily add on to other treatments if you're prepared. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're here for your Botox, it's interesting. This treatment, the, the duration of effect is three to four months, right. very similar to your Botox treatments or your neuromodulator treatments. So it is something that we could add on at the same time. Um, you just need to be prepared and shave a couple days before and, and stop using antiperspirants. So what does this cost? This normally costs four fifty dollars per treatment. Yep. Um, but this month we have the special fifty dollars off, so it's only four hundred per treatment. That includes both your underarms. And if you decide that you want to go ahead and buy two treatments, so you have one for your next visit, yeah. then um, you save one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, so, it's a great deal. You know, that's a great, great deal. So that, it's a cost-effective yeah option. It's really, it's really, it comes at a nice price point. You don't have to break the bank. Um, and it has shown uh, in patients who have a diagnosis of hyperhidrosis, so those, those people who do have excessive sweating, um, that it has decreased their sweating, sweat production by 50%, which in those patients is fabulous. If they're, you know, if we could, anything to decrease their sweating. So, and it's not that you can't use antiperspirants in addition. And I think that's the real problem with hyperhidrosis is that they sweat so much that they sweat through their antiperspirants. So if they could mm -hmm. have something like this and then be able to use regular antiperspirants or extra strength antiperspirants um, and then and not have any sweating, that's fabulous. Right. Yeah. So it's 50% reduction um, without any antiperspirants. So then you know they can get additional benefit 
from use of antiperspirants. Whereas someone who, like myself, who I don't have excessive sweating, but there are certain, um, you know, things that make me sweat more, or a lot of people don't like to use antiperspirants that have aluminum in them because of the, um, you know, purported risk of breast cancer, but that hasn't been proven, but it is something that people are concerned about. If you are one of those that, that doesn't use antiperspirants and chooses to use deodorants only, they may not be quite good enough, especially in the summertime. Sure. When it's really hot. And so this is a really great option for those patients. And those patients would likely see a much higher um, percent reduction in sweat. Than so that 50%. they may not sweat at all. So antiperspirants actually help to minimize the sweating and usually they have like a fragrance component to them so you know when you There's do sweat also. it's kind of deodorant mm -hmm. in it whereas deodorant doesn't have that component in it to help reduce the sweating it just a deodorant just covers up or masks the odor. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for an option that is aluminum free, injection free, easy to perform, this is a great option for you. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I'm so excited about it. And especially somewhere like here in Phoenix where it's so darn hot in the yeah. summer. Um, I think we'll, this will be a very popular treatment. Um, Off-label use, I'm sure we'll get questions about that. Like can you use it in areas other than under the arms? Um, you have to have direct contact with the skin in order for it to be effective. So um, you could use it off-label under the, under the breast tissue as long as we can get good contact with the skin and in any other area that you have sweat glands that, again, we can have, we can have adequate contact because that chemical reaction has to be able to take place for it to be effective. Um, there are other treatments. Yeah. And there are other treatments that we do here in the office, like Botox injections. Sure. So that's why I put the little Botox vial out there mm -hmm. too. Botox is something that you can inject. Usually it takes about 100 units, 50 units per underarm area or per hand if you're injecting it into the hands or the soles. I haven't done that too often. Um, you know, I, I, This, I think, will be great. Um, this just came out, so it's new technology. It'll be interesting to see if they come out with patches specific for hands or soles, like palms or soles, because that yeah. is another area that I think people have a lot of concern about, but it's not available yet. But injections with Botox are effective and they can be effective for six months, even longer in some patients, but typically mm -hmm. patients, we see them back every six months. So it does last longer than your typical cosmetic Botox right. treatment. Um, and that has been shown to decrease sweating by how much, Shannon, you were looking it up, 80? By, I think it was like 85%. Okay, so, yeah. It also cost a $1,000 of treatment, yeah. you know, is the range there. So you're looking at potentially 2,000 a year. Yeah, right? so it is more expensive. There is the potential, if you do have a, a physician diagnose you with hyperhidrosis, that your insurance may cover it, though I've found that to be difficult as insurances are more difficult. Um, <laughs> they, they really um, push back on, on things like, like Botox um, because of the cost associated with it. But mm -hmm. there are programs, um, there are um, patient programs that Allergan offers to help reduce some of that cost. But most of the time what I see is they'll reduce it by about $150 or something. So you can get some, some reduction in cost through the manufacturer. Yeah. Um, if you go that route. So that's something that we can do in the office too. And we have plenty of patients that come in for us to, to treat them um, with Botox a couple times a year. So something to think about. The, um, the other treatments that are available are Mirror Dry. Mm -hmm. Mirror Dry is a device that's available, not in our practice, but is available in several practices in our area anyway, mm -hmm. um, that uses microwave energy to decrease sweat gland production permanently. So that is um, something that typically costs around two to three thousand dollars. So it is uh, more of an investment, but it is a permanent solution. There are also um, there's a higher side effect profile with that device. So something to think about. Um, there's a lot of important nerves that that lie right underneath the axilla, underneath the armpit, um, that you you know you you don't want to damage those while you're trying to treat the sweat glands that sit more superficially. Next door in our family practice office, I do prescribe medications for hyperhidrosis. Usually it's that full body hyperhidrosis. So um, there's a prescription called glycopyrrolate that can decrease uh, sweat production. And it, because it's taken systemically by mouth, it's gonna be able to help if you're like 
your scalp sweater or right. um, you know you're you're sweating on your back and you might have people your, your hands your feet your butt whatever so your if you're sweaty everywhere you know treating with just a patch or treating with Botox just under the armpits may not be a great solution for you so you can think about the use of a medication like glycopyrrolate we do use that off label um, but it has been effective but there's side effects too like dry mouth okay. and other things um, and then there's dry saw which is a topical prescription strength aluminum based antiperspirant um, okay. and that that is effective for some people I think a lot of patients try that fail that um, if they're really excessive sweaters so um, that could be something where if you really have an issue, you could even do Brella and then use that. You know, sure. so you can combine some of these things so that you really can significantly reduce your your sweating. And then I also um, re uh, found out that there's a surgical option. Oh yeah, even for hyperhidrosis. Mm -hmm. So a surgical option, but I mean that's surgery, yeah, right? And they're actually going into the lungs. Like there's there's a sympathetic nerve that. Um, that innervates the axillary area. Yeah. Um, I actually had a patient that was looking into that because she was so distressed by her sweating. Um, but that's a drastic move and, you know, can be 10000 10, plus dollars. Yeah. You know, it, it, insurance doesn't always cover these things and it's risky. So, you know, there have been pneumothorax where people like drop along and there can be risks to any procedure, but especially anything involving the thoracic cavity. So, um, so that I think you'd really have to feel that the risk benefit ratio, you know, that the benefit outweighs the risk in, in sure. that kind of a situation. So, but that it is an option. Um, Brella just seems so easy. I know. You know, it just seems so nice and easy. Yeah, right? Slap a patch under your arms. Yeah. So it, it is. It, Get it your is. Botox. I think well, it'll be patch. interesting to see where this technology goes. Like I said, yeah. I suspect that, you know, once it's been out for a bit and um, it's being more widely used in the axillary area, that we'll probably see. Um, other forms of it being used elsewhere on the body. So that'll be exciting. Yeah. What do we have? I think that's all the, the information I can give you about sweat. Um, what do we have in store for next for month? I don't think we know what we're talking about yet. I know we were going to talk about exosomes at some point. Yeah. Was that then? Yeah. We yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. I think we were gonna. You know what? I think we were gonna do exosomes this time. Yeah. But then Brella fell in our lap, mm -hmm. and we thought we have to get the word out about this. So I think right? we're gonna be talking about so, exosomes. exosomes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next month, and and we we have some other information too. So um, there's a new company that came to us, right? Right. So that'll be interesting. We can talk about all these different options that are available now. But we're hoping to have the anti-age rep. Yeah. Um, so. Stay tuned. If there is a topic that you guys are wanting to hear about, please let us know um, because, you know, we rack our brain trying to come up with new and interesting information to share. But if there's something that a topic that you guys would really like to hear about, please let us know. Yeah. All right. Well, thank Thanks, you for joining. Guys. Happy birthday again to Janet. Thank you. And we will see you next month.